Is sell a four letter word to you? Hi, it's Lorna Rasmussen speaking to you from my office here in Costa Rica. You know, for a lot of people, uh, the idea of selling is just not what they want to do. And again, it's another reason why people don't want to get involved in a network marketing business because they think they're going to have to go and sell. The problem is I think they're misunderstanding what the word sell stands for. So let me give you a different meaning to the word sell. The first, the S stands for share. In other words, what you're doing when you're selling somebody is you're sharing information with them. You're showing them that this product or service exists. Now, we do that all the time. All of us have run across things or we find a great sale or we uh, see a wonderful movie or eat in a delicious restaurant and we want to tell people about it, right? We want to tell them that it exists and that's all we're doing at that point. We're sharing. The, next, the E now stands for educate. And we're doing, again, something that comes very natural to us. Now, most of us kind of self-educate. We go on Google or we look things up or we ask friends, have you bought this? Have you used this? Do you know about this? Or do you have uh, some recommendations? So again, we're used to doing that. It's very natural. And we're simply educating the person. The first L stands for, for learn. And at that point, it's your job as the salesperson to help that person, your prospect, learn how this service or this um, product can be a benefit to them. So you're looking at their situation and showing them how they benefit from having this product or service available to them. And this requires that you do a couple of things. And one of them is that you talk to the person so you know what um, in sales we refer to as their pain points, but just what their needs are. The final L is the only place where you may need some education and some training and some support because it's the point at which you lead the person to make a decision. Now, making a decision is not an easy thing for a lot of us. We don't like to make a decision. Why? Because we could make the wrong decision. So one of the ways that you can help people making a decision is to eliminate any of the negatives of making that decision. Maybe you give them a free trial or maybe you have them um, use it for a while and they, they, they're not obligated to keep it forever or that sort of thing. But it's in that leading them to make a decision that some of the psychology of selling comes in. It's certainly where um, you need to develop your own sense of um, your belief in yourself. Because if you can't believe that this is the right thing for that person, you've listened to them, you've learned about them, you've helped them understand how this service or product can help them. And now you simply have to have the fortitude to ask for the sale. And that's what sell is, S-E-L-L. -L. It's not a four letter word.